good morning to all we'll continue with the keynote address by dr ajay simal this over to you sir thank you dr sudesh and thanks a lot reverend fathers disuza the director the principal dr disuza ramya ma'am and the entire organizing team first of all now when we are talking about the academic writing as i earlier mentioned that it's a it's not a group of task it's a passion research is all about the passion and the academic writing is the result of that passion patience and perseverance so i would like to let you know that in my varasasan i would like to because it's not possible to tell each and everything i have seen that good blending of the lectures have been planned by the organizing committee and kudos to the committee for that though it is not possible to cover the each and everything even in the one week i would like to give you the brief hint that what you should cover and what you should learn for being an academic writer so let us so let me share the presentation for you, for you and uh, if you have any query at any moment you are most welcome okay so you are most welcome at any moment just a minute yeah so this welcome from my university first of all academic writing we are talking about uh i'm the you can say the ambassador of the uh, of the swayam government of india platform i welcome from i welcome you all on behalf of my university it's the central university in the lap of himalayas no there are the nine characters of the so my term i request all the participants to mute their mic friends masters for being the master for being the guru you need nine characters character communicator personality moral courage memory writer humble enthusiasm and curious i was attending my very first orientation program in year 2009 university of hyderabad professor rao was narrating this shloka yes the first thing comes the character the integrity it's easy to be a teacher it's very easy you just give interview qualify some exam or maybe just after passing pg in engineering it's very easy you become the teacher but becoming a guru requires courage require these nine characters and the first thing is character i would emphasize on this thing you must not compromise with your character with your integrity in sanskrit shloka it is mentioned that vrattam yatnen sarakshet vittmayate yati cha vrattam uh, it means that vratt means character that character you must preserve with all your efforts the man without the money without the loss of without with the loss of the money with the loss of these other things may be okay but if there is a loss of character 
vrattastu hato hata the character is gone then you are gone completely destroyed so with this message that in the rat race of publication don't compromise with your character with your academic integrity this is the key message for you you know academic writing as i told you it can change the history it, it has the almighty power it can change the generations yes whatever we are writing is a perception of a some kind of writing isn't it you might have studied somewhere whether it is story of world war first world war second world war uh, first outbreak of cholera in london in 1854 1853 or the invention whatever we just came to know through some kind of publications some kind of news scientific articles yes actually this society is moving on the path of sustainable development just due to academic writing the bible now what are the basic traits of academic writing as rightly the principles are mentioned the clarity the first thing i would say the clarity be clear in communicating your idea to the reader in sanskrit shloka it is mentioned that swayam likhati swayam na pathe the people are there who sometimes after writing their they can't understand what they have written but they have themselves they can they can't understand the clarity is at most required baba completeness obviously when you are narrating a story na you can't break it at any moment just like the most of the time nowadays the coming web stories are which are coming they are at randomly ended at a particular moment so the complete they, we can't tell the story like these web story web series we have to give the complete story our scientific story with completeness to a reader with clarity the logic must be there without logic we, we are not writing a scientific fiction science fiction we are not writing we are writing the, the academic we are going for the academics the technical terms obviously the every profession is a, some engineering aspect you can't write in the layman term sequencing is at most required for smooth transition from one point to another point you require sequencing we will let you know if you join our course on academic writing which is available in the swayam mook we give on the second week uh, itself we just talk english in academic writing in that particular dar week an ambiguity there is no place of ambiguity in academic writing you can't deduce more than one meaning you are they your writing must not result into more than one meaning out of a, uh, out of that particular line or that particular paragraph and obviously the at most important thing is reader friendliness is the key point and friends most of us don't understand the requirement of academic writing in time it delays our professional growth and demotivates us and what is happening here that writing wrong or making mistake in academic writing is considered as ethical crime ethical crime yes quote on quote no for generations what happened that seniors have kept it in secret that i know that why should i tell the academic writing has been kept wrapped in the mystery this must change our trouble with writing is not evidence of our unfitness for the profession it is not some secret sign of unworthiness or inaptitude nothing to be ashamed of let's admit and ask for help i mentioned in my opening remark itself you have to admit that yes i need to learn then only you will learn then you will move yourself your career to that desired purpose and as i believe that i am hopeful at least i can start the journey of sharing whatever we know 
maybe you would be a better researcher with better output remember no institution in the world itself is, are ha is having all the facilities in one room rarely rarely so we have to manage the resources now moving to the academic writing because I'm not here to discuss how to do the research. It's an entirely different part. Now, when I'm talking about the academic writing, I'm talking about the reader friendliness, critical thinking, reading, the language, rational and logical cohesiveness. Now, the beginning of academic writing is critical thinking. Now, why I'm telling you that what has happened nowadays that we lost, we forget to read comprehensively. We are not referring to the books. Critical thinking and critical reading leads to the idea generation, problem definition for the, your research work, okay? Now, what is the flow of action in academic writing? The process of academic writing consists of the following steps. Each individual steps has its own significance and it's necessary to be followed cautiously. First is critical reading, as I said, we have to procure the knowledge, knowledge collection is there. Then. The critic, we have to work on that or plan according to that. Idea generation is required. When hypothesis is drafted, you move for the first draft. You have done your research work on that particular point of for the certain period of time. Now moving to the first draft, framework development. Now how we will develop that framework? Multiple draft, evaluation of first idea. We never write overnight, you know. We write in multiple settings, proofreading, and then we finalize the idea. Then we finalize the idea. Now we, the different stakeholders, it is not like that, that okay, just only the uh, researchers or faculty members are the beneficiaries. With different needs, different stakeholders have different needs. Students have different needs, okay. Okay. Assignments, thesis, teachers, all may have different, different needs. Even the institutions require the publications for what kind of things? For their rankings. For the rankings they need. So who are the beneficiaries of academic writing? Academicians, students, researcher and the institution, okay? So these are the four major beneficiaries. The academicians, we are gathered here. As your principal sir rightly pointed out that, yes, in Indian context, there is a flood of Tom, Dick and Harry journals. They have affected the credibility of Indian research globally. To get more and more score in academic performance indicator, API, popular promotions, many research are just publishing for numbers. Please remember the trend has come. Many state of the art institute and universities just ask for the papers published in science citation index journals, SCI index journals. So don't fall in the trap of these tedious journals just to increase the numbers. With this section, I'm giving you that takeaway, that publishing in this, because in pub, publishing in these substantive journals, it is not only dis, disgraceful for you, but also for your institution. Maybe the third person doesn't, don't know you. The other people don't, don't know you, but they know your institution. 
the integrity of institution is affected is affected just due to these short sighted task when we are having short sightedness that yes i will have some big buck of uh, some with the with see some bucks i will purchase an article i will do something to get an article no you are compromising the integrity be honest in academic right that honesty is required otherwise your entire career will be at the stake now what you need to do in publications what how where when confused full of questions isn't it now what we will do now let us have an exercise so friends what i request you that for 30 seconds let's discuss that let's think first of all that what are the रिक्वायरमेंट भाई मुझको क्या सीखने का है वट आई शुड लर्न इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर पब्लिकेशन वट आर दिंग्स विच आई शुड नो दे आर मेनी थिंग्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अकेडमिक राइटिंग बट वट इज माई प्रायोरिटी वट इज द अटमोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग जस्ट हैव ए लिस्ट ऑफ फाइव फोर थिंग्स प्लीज तीस सेकेंड आई एम गिविंग यू थर्टी सेकेंड कि देखिए कि आपको क्या जानना चाहिए because we have to improvise improvise and improve our things we will have to start from i chaliye baat karte hope you might have aapne kuch list kiya hoga kuch socha hoga let us discuss first is academic english learn the academic english why i term this not in i am not terming it english i am terming it academic english because the first thing i would like to point out that academic english english we may be the non native for the english the asians may be the non native for english but for the academic english everyone is non native no academic english is different from english general english otherwise the western western world would have the flood of uh, articles english barely cannot teach you how to write the research papers that academic english teaches you the academic is rather different it had got a different apple for effective english i'm talking about the effective academic english it should be simple clear concise reader friendly free of errors voice what kind of voices you are using active voice passive voice what are the styles you are using for writing so friends first of all that moment of inertia from your brain you should overcome that moment of inertia okay and try practicing thing because when i'm writing na for english not only the grammatical aspect is required the aspect of idea connection is also required that for coherence it means kya kehne ka hai mujhko that bhai ek sentence ko dusre sentence se jodne ka hai na apan ko so when we are joining the two sentences put together the grammatical level of linking is okay that is called cohesion one thing is that glue two kind of glues are required cohesion and coherence when that when i'm gluing our sentences with that grammatical glue we call it cohesion when one paragraph is linked with another paragraph with the idea progression that idea level linking that idea level glue is called coherence c o h e r e n c e coherence it means when i'm telling a story seedha seedha nahi bol sakte na we can't tell like that okay aisa hua boring aspect nahi ho sakta that flow of telling the story storytelling is an art like the research paper is kind of a kind of story you are telling to your readers you will have to make it interesting you will have to make it with the flow the required flow that is required by the 
uh, use of cohesion and coherence. Got it? Now the aspect is plagiarism, the second aspect that you must learn. I think you already have planned tomorrow the lecture on the plagiarism, that the academic integrity. So what you should learn, that what is the concept, types, consequences, detection, and avoiding, how you can do it. Hey, kya plagiarism? What does it mean? When article assignment submitted to the mentor, mentor caught the copy paste. This is his plagiarism. Kita cheating karna, bhaiya dusre ka idea ko chori karna. Academic theft, literary theft, sahiti chori, Hindi mein kehte. We can steal the ideas of other people with, and uh, uh, we are taking the ideas and not even attributing them, attributing the source. It means we are copying. That issue is discussed in academic terms is called plagiarism. However, this is well defined in the Copyright Act. But even if I haven't done some copyright, Subhashin Bhoji ne kaha, कि तुम मुझे खून दो मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा बोला ना कॉपीराइट तो नहीं किया ना उसकी कोर्ट को बट दैट कोर्ट बिलोंग्स टू हिम व्हेनेवर यू आर कोटिंग यू विल कोट एंड कोट एंड कोट एंड देन यू विल राइट दैट सुभाष चंद्र नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस इज दैट इट बिकॉज़ दैट इज हिज इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी एंड फॉर दैट the ugc has come up ye yeah, ugc leke aaya hai ugc has come up with the promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher educational institution regulation 2018 i request the organizing team to give the copy of this document to each and every participants each and every participant sare participant ko dene ka hai padhne ke liye mandatory pdf mein freely available hai that is in google it is freely available comment of deca gazette see what are the levels of plagiarism how you should uh, how you can what are the penalties provided what is how you can pre prepare an ecosystem what kind of facilities whether the departmental academic integrity panel are there in your institution or not kya aap kya wo ecosystem bana hai ki nahi bana hai so preparing that ecosystem that concept what are the types of plagiarism kitna type ka hota hai what are the what may be the consequences of these plagiarism the students will lose their registration in the psd their cancellation of their degrees for the faculty members the consequences even may lead to the, not only just the retraction of their their paper but also the stopping or or you know taking away the annual increments one two increments and the supervisorship or maybe the job even maybe the termination from the job suspension or termination from the job if they are found guilty in these levels how we can detect it what are the softwares ye aapko sikhaya jayega bola jayega so but just learn these things this is at most important even not only the students but also the supervisors should learn that how we can detect it otherwise any silly mistake if your student has done you will have to pay for that in your future how we can avoid it by paraphrasing by quoting what are the methods there summarizing technique in telling in their own word in your own words telling the other story with reference not only just replacing some words with some other synonym what are the effective techniques of avoiding the plagiarism and rewriting and rephrasing the thing with the references that we have to learn ye seekhna padega theek hai no the resources i'm just giving an outline basically that what are the resources required for the initiating the research reading and thinking what what bhai padhne ka kya hai the prospect the prospective topics the related body of knowledge yeah brainstorming is needed for that you have to collect the literature review for that literature review from where you will collect what will be the source what will be the database what are the kind of what kind of databases are available how we can search them what is the 
best practice of searching that literature review for searching that literature for or uh, going through these databases how we can analyze the data which we have been collected from the database what are the methods what are how we can organize this literature but how we can define the research how we can identify the research gap ye koi cheez chala aa raha hai na kahin to koi samasya hai na jo aapko majboor kar raha hai new research ke sath aane ke liye there is something lacking which you have to identify out of that literature review that is the actually the rationale of your study of writing the thing that origin of idea aim and object so that you can define no major types of writing you must know that what are the different type of writing every time you can't go for a full review sometimes it may be a mini review full review research it may be a short communication also it may be a letter to editor it may be full research paper every time it is not required to go for full research paper some preliminary work can be published in the short communications they have the equal weightage पेपर की लंबाई से फर्क नहीं पड़ता है किसा कि गुरुजी ने पचपन पेज का आर्टिकल लिखा बोला और मेरा पेपर तो पांच पेपर पांच ही पेज का पेपर के वेट से नहीं बढ़ता है पब्लिकेशन का वेट क्वालिटी मास्ट बी देयर ओके थीसिस द सेम ओट टू फॉर थीसिस इन इंडियन कंटेस्ट द थीसिस आर वेटेड इन द किलोस you go for the western world and even the best in the very good institution in the india itself the thesis are just 30 35 40 pages not more than that conference abstract papers how you can write book chapter or book research proposal these are the different kind of writing academic writing you must learn depending on your expertise on that or depending on your field of research now open educational resources the thing the educational resources which are available for free openly which are available they are called open educational resources simple these are available in the various uh, media like linkedin facebook even there are there is a flood of uh, content even in the youtube but you have to identify baba youtube mein bahut kuch hai but have you gone through इंजीनियरिंग वालों ने एमआईटी का चैनल देखा है क्या यूट्यूब देर इज ए चैनल ऑफ एम आई टी मैसेट्यूसिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी यूट्यूब चैनल इज देर देर इज ए चैनल ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया टेलीविजन यू सी टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल यू विल गेट लॉट ऑफ गुड मटेरियल लाइव लेक्चर लेक्चर रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ यूर सब्जेक्ट इन दो यूट्यूब चैनल दीज आर ओपन एडुकेशनल रिसोर्सेज नॉट दिस इज माई रेस्पॉन्सिज दिस इज योर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू पिन पॉइंट दी क्वालिटी आस्पेक्ट एंड Uh, collect it for your research and for teaching and learning other platform include adex coursera our swayam government of india platform cora i do not oh, just utilize them this is my channel cut.ly okay live and i have also shared this uh, information with you uh, this my channel cut.ly for stress okay live okay open knowledge ke naam se various things various aspects of academic writing have been discussed in this particular like uh, channel with the help of various a good number of you know articles or you can say lectures recorded lectures now what is the another aspect important as we journal matrix now problem lies in academic writing a major problem is we are not targeting to write type of journal for our research work for that what you should learn journal matrix author matrix that bibliometrics is called i think there is a separate set of lecture for this in a, in the coming days journal matrix author matrix how we can identify the best journal or well suited journal like a best maybe best nature is always best but is it possible is uh, whether my work is of that level or not i have to edit i have to assess never underestimate nor overestimate your work see which journal is most suitable and where the is the uh, best chances of getting it published before writing plan where to send because we have to plan that planning must be crucial another important aspect 
other major domains in dealing with the submission and post submission when we are you know submitting and post submitting that say for example i got uh, some uh comments there when i'm submitting it after submission the peer review comment there i have to answer them very professionally i have to have the good tuning with my team and the collab uh, with the collaborators the tuning with the research scholar in between the research scholar and the supervision the supervisor it's required to be in best mode because most of the research are dependent on this tuning and this is the human aspect of research h to h human to human aspect that require your behavior skills for that you know yes obviously when your mind is not peaceful your mind won't open up you can't do the quality research for that you need a good tuning in lab with your supervisor in home with your wife or with your family that peace is required friend okay aap mane na mane par research ke liye wo peace bahut zaruri hai okay time and team management time and team management yes you have to manage the time time nikalna padta hai nikalta nahi apne se kabhi nahi nikalta working in a, on in a team in a good team efficiently core and the coordination between the team if you are working in the uh, institution or in it uh, in a research lab these things you will have to learn with this i come to the nuances of academic writing in the second half of my part in the coming 15 20 20 minutes i'll be discussing on that yahan tak koi baat aisi hai if you have any query i humbly request you to please come up with the uh, any question or thing you want to have a clarification mai aapse nivedan karta hu i humbly request you that uh, if you have any query please uh, do pay mai kuch der ke liye शेयर को टॉप करता हूं तो फ्रेंड्स होप यू हैव गॉट कि दैट करना क्या है हमको इस समय करने का क्या है हमको तो लेट अस तो व्हाट डू यू फील दैट इफ यू वांट टू ऐड समथिंग एंड इफ यू वांट टू इफ यू हैव एन कंट्रडिक्टरी आईडिया ऑन यू डोंट एग्री विद मी आई हमली इनवाइट यू पहले हम बात करते हैं देन वी विल डिस्कस अलोंग बट दिस इज नॉट आई डोंट वांट इट टू बी ए यू नो वन वे ट्रैफिक सो प्लीज डू अन म्यूट एंड let me know then i will let you know some important tips on article writing or academic writing preferably because it is not possible to cover each and everything but at least i think uh, i would be able to pinpoint some of the aspects of the uh, academic writing or you can say paper writing specifically okay we will be discussing on the nuances yeah please anyone house is open bataye bhai participants you can unmute yourself and uh, you can ask ah, anyone question. anyone please 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 if you have any query any silly thought comes in your mind please do discuss but i am uh anyway i have uh, you know mentioned a link there in the this uh, tiny.cc if you go to the chat box please do see uh, this uh, link there i have uh, given to you i have shared this link for you okay and uh, in that particular link you will find you will find this link links by semelty tiny.cc it's an customized link uh, which i have created for you people uh, just uh, save it and use it i'm just mentioning it in the when i go start those who have joined later uh, can copy from the chat box from the chat box you can copy okay and remember one more thing before i go for the rest of the part of that communication because it is not 100% delivery it can't be possible it is not possible in for the academic writing in a, in a particular session of one hour maybe 
always remember one thing. I started with this I note know. that, yeah. Research is all about uncertainty. Research is all about uncertainty. The rejections would be there. What do you think? I'm having around 90 papers. More than 500 rejections I have got from various papers, from various journals. Success is actually the story of failures. And for the academic writing, for the papers, research paper publications, you have to have that patience for getting the quality publication. If you're losing the patience, you may involve yourself in some unethical things. It may harm your academic integrity. It may harm your institutional academic integrity and you will have to pay the price for it sooner or later. So always remember that whatever you are doing in the research, no guarantees associated with that, that you will get the publication in the high impact journal. No, it all depends on your attitude. It's all depends on your practicing the uh, academic writing continuously and improvising yourself. Then only the paper, that preparation, if you are having the strong preparation and the continuous efforts, then the continuous publication may come, otherwise not. Okay. So let me, anyway, if you have any query, you're most welcome. I'm taking back to the uh, remaining part in a quick overview, and then I will wrap up at around, uh, in around 15 minutes, okay? Now let us discuss some of the nuances of academic writing. Now we will be letting you D, W, and H, where to write, what to write, how to plan, how to write, where to send, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what are the basic rules? If I say, what are the basic rules? The so first thing is have rationality. First thing is have rationality. Then plan well on time. Then plan well on time. That planning. If you are planning an article and getting it published after two years and finalizing it in two years, it may it may lose its relevance. Target a journal wisely. Choose the right type of journal. You know, targeting. You know, I will let you know. Believe me that there are two topmost factors of rejecting rejections of uh, papers: language error and the poor targeting. Obviously, it's the problem with the non-native speakers, but you are not a non-native for you are not non-native for academic English. The other, everyone is academic. Everyone is same platform with respect to academic English. You may be non-native for English, but let's try to learn the academic English. Target the journal wisely on the basis of various uh, factors: impact, speed, and reach. We will discuss. Choose right type for article. Make several drafts. Aisa nahi ki aaj suru kiya bola 12 baje writing suru kiya subah 4 baje khatam karke nakke karke 5 baje isko bhejne ka hai. 5 am you have sent it communicated to the journal. 4 hours only done. It's a wrong practice. You must do it in multiple settings. Avoid typo and language errors. Stick to the journal format. Revise, recheck, address reviewer comments effectively. These are some basic rules. Now, at most important part is rationality. When we are in engineering, sciences, biomedical sciences, our focus must be on the intellectual, gaining the intellectual property advantage, IPR advantage. Can I convert my work into an invention. Let me judge in initial study, 
initial part that whether my work is worthy to be patented or not. You may have a lot of innovations, but whether that innovation is worthy to be called as an invention, we will have to work on that. The innovative work are published, no issue, but inventions are patented. There's a difference between innovation and invention. Innovation may be some, merely some new uh, mix up or joining the thing, or you are coming up with some things which may look little newer, but they may not be inventive. If they are inventive, don't publish it. Go for patenting. You must have a choice patent or publish or perish. In earlier days, you, we used to call it publish or perish, but now it is patent or publish. First priority is patent. And second is novelty. Whether your work is novel or not, what new you are adding to the domain of the knowledge? See, what new you are adding? This we have to focus. Start writing early in your research career. You know, it is just about skipping. When you are skipping now, you just jump a little bit earlier than the coming of that particular rope beneath your legs, beneath your feet, isn't it? That timing is crucial. Just about timing, stumbles, that follows stumbles. Stumbling is followed if you are just missing the time, isn't it? And that works on academic writing. For review writing, yes, you can write the review writing uh, in the, uh, after the end of your literature review. You must plan the outline on time. That, banaye, draft banaye, that make the outline first and stick on to the outline. And if you want to decide where to publish, decide. How you will decide where to publish impact. How impactful that art, that journal is. What is the speed of the journal? How early your work can be published? How much researchers or readers are reading that article? Impact, speed, and read. There are the, these are the three deciding factors. Now, what do you call? What is the choice and expectation? It depends on impact, speed, on reach, or a blend of these. You might be interesting in a particular work. You think that is a wonderful work, and I will uh, publish it in a high impact. You may compromise. You may say, that, okay, let it be published in four, five months, six months, doesn't matter, but it should be published in the high impact. It means you are compromising speed. No issue. In, for high impact, you can compromise the speed and reach. But it is not possible to get all the things put together. So you must prioritize the things. If you want to publish it earlier, then you can compromise the impact. You may just focus, okay, it should be indexed in SCI. Well, SCI index on a chayibola, high impact ho, na ho, doesn't matter. Koi baat nahi. In that way, you may go for the speed, maybe. And reach. However, if you are having money that you can pay for the article processing charges, maybe you can get all the things put together. So assess your work wisely, as I've already told you. Don't neither overestimate nor underestimate your work. Uh, if I, what happens that? Every researcher likes his or her own work just like a kid. We can't expect every work to be published in a high impact journal like Nature's or Nature in Nature's journal or I Triple journal. But you must assess your work where it, it is finding its place on that ranking of the journal. Target quality journals with good impact or indexing. You must know what are the journals. For that, there are algorithm, algorithm based things. If you type, remember, please, I need your attention. Note down the word journal finder. Journal finder. Second word, journal suggester. Journal finder is by the elsewhere. Journal suggester is by the Springer and so on by the various publishers. You just put your title 
just to uh, paste your abstract, put the field of research and click submit. That system will give you the probable or the target journals for your article. These are algorithm based things. So you can target the journal very effectively. The, that always remember it must match with the scope of the journal. If you will play with the tiger, tiger will eat you. Is that it? So uh, you can't expect each and every work to be published in nature. See article processing charges, APC. I have processing or publishing, whatever. Uh, targeted journal, which takes less time for the same. You must see that. that uh, uh, can we publish it in the uh, smaller time frame, shorter time frame? Choose the right type of article. Uh, uh, not going to the in detail of the, the simple and reader friendliness is required. That uh, if you tips on the title and other things and other aspects of the article before wrapping up my discussion. Focus every component of an article. I always read of opinion that title must be planned at last. And tentatively three, four, five article title, no worries. But finalize the last title at last. It should be simple, catchy, reader friendly, suitable for the journal and representative of your work. It should give the entire story what you are going, what you are, uh, what the reader is going to have in that particular work. Authorship, only portions who have given the actual contribution must be given. So those who are planning, who are involved in planning, designing, execution, completion, and drafting of study should be included. I'll never ever use this for the gift, any favor. Don't include your friends, family, seniors, head, dean, vice chancellor, chancellor, just for having some benefits. You must be very much honest with your affiliation, yeah, abstract ke mein aapko batana Abstract is just like the address of an envelope uh, of the post of the post which you are sending. If your abstract is wrong, your targeting will be completely destroyed. Most of the time, you are required to write in limited words, 300 words, mein aapko ka, 500 words. Mein ka. So though you must use the words very cautiously and check it double, triple before finalizing. And lastly, you should, at the last phase, before finalizing the title, you should plan the, uh, the abstract. Keywords should be selected cautiously. This, you know, the IMRAD stands for introduction, material, result, and discussion. Okay. So in this way, we can plan the various sections. We do plan. Yes, in introduction, you just introduce the topic logically, sequencing, and systematically. With judicious use of references, don't use very low, very old references. In metal methods, you know that whatever the thing you have done or the hypothesis which you have given at the last of the introduction, yes, that, that work is done on this, this, this. And in discussion, don't elaborate the standard operating procedures or standard procedures. In result, one by one, without any bias, you must discuss the thing and don't never ever dis exaggerate. Don't be afraid of reporting the negative results and the paradox of anything which is against the law or against the, even the standard phenomena. You must all report, even if you can, can understand. Maybe some other people will take the benefit of that. That particular research. How about the statistics? Statistical analysis, okay. In engineering, in our biomedical, in uh, sciences, you know, statistics is utmost requirement, but not every kind of thing. Maybe the engineering people, that mechanical engineering people don't require learning the SPSS. I am a pharmacy. I don't require SPSS. How forestry wala hai ya agriculture wala hai, usko SPSS sikhna hoga, management wala ko sikhna hoga, mujhe nahi sikhna. So need to know basis pe sikhne ka, we should learn on focusing the things, on learning the things on need to know basis. So, yeah, one important thing that equation and special characters, we copy mu, no? 
माइक्रॉन वाला म्यू वेन वी कॉपी फ्रॉम पी डी एफ टू वर्ड इट इज टर्न इन टू दू सो वेन वी आर कॉपी पेस्टिंग दीज ग्रीक लेटर्स एंड अदर थिंग्स लेट इन टर्म्स लेट इन वर्ड्स और ग्रीक लेटर्स एल्फा बीटा गामा यूज इक्वेशंस एंड स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स इन इंजर्टिंग द सैम्बल्स फ्रॉम इंजर्ट सैम्बल्स ओके डोंट जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट so discussion is utmost important part which gives you uh, which gives you the space to discuss your result in light of the existing literature contradictory and supporting studies you will give you will have to be critical you will have to be unbiased clarity reader friendliness with the conclusion light last you must not copy from the abstract future direction dene ka hai acknowledge karna hai that we will have to acknowledge who had us uh, a, we acknowledge project grant gift samples analytical other service providers logistics support but don't use the section for grazing you are not supposed to tag you are head of the department you are dean you are vice chancellor etc as principal etc etc so do not acknowledge senior authors even sometimes uh, people have the tendency to uh, thank the stakeholders institutional head etc etc references must be at the there are the reference management tools there are literature management tools mendeley and note zotero and note is subscription based mendeley and zotero is freely available if you come to a course on academic writing that is freely available on the government of india swam platform we have focused on that particular thing in entire week you must spell author's name limit the use references as per the style at most important aspect is choose doing the revision again and again do it self revision first write an initial draft in total without substantial revision and then let it sit let it uh, you know say leave it for a day come back in after one day or two days then you will feel that you are having more ideas in revising that particular thing give the feedback not only from your team finally revise it submit the manuscript for submission you must plan a good cover letter along with other flies and all that that why this manuscript is suitable for that particular job upload the manuscript and when the comments are reached to you are addressed to you understand what the flaw and fault is there try to overcome it a good response letter rebuttal letter must be planned aur aisa nahi ki jo apne ko samajh nahi aaya jo humko samajh nahi aaya wo usko chhod diya point every point should be addressed professionally sometimes reviewer make out of the context kind of thing don't go for that you just give your own opinion even if you don't agree put the things in professional way before in the that rebuttal letter so when these revisions are submitted your proof reading is you have to do in a time uh, uh, in a tight time frame the type of errors consistent should be because the people who are doing these things are the non technical one or can say just uh, not having that subject knowledge they may lose pata chala table 1 ke baad table 2 hai hi nahi पता चला स्टेंजर नंबर वन टू थ्री के बीच में स्टेंजर नंबर टू कहीं से डिलीट हो गया यू हैव टू सी फॉर द इनकंसिस्टेंसी सो दिस इज़ ऑल माय टाइम इज़ ओवर एंड दिस एकेडमिक राइटिंग इज द कोर्स बिफोर क्लोजिंग द थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू टेक टू वन ऑफ अवर कंक्लूडिंग रिमार्क दैट विद द कंक्लूडिंग स्लाइड्स आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट यस होल्ड ऑन आपको दिखाना चाह रहा हूँ एक्चुअली कि क्या हम कर चुके हैं क्या हम कर रहे हैं बट वी आर डूइंग दैट एंड एनी वे मीन वाइल इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी क्वेरी यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम मीन वाइल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग फॉर एन सम ऑफ द लास्ट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ माय प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दैट Hmm. Yes. So, friends, 
academic writing is actually about learning a lot many things than just the aisa nahi hai ki keval ek do cheez humne seekha aur usse hum research kar lenge we have to stick to the basic aspects we will have to focus on the uh hold up yeah just a minute i think my screen is shared so what i am requesting you that we are having we are having a course on academic writing in the that so i'm giving you just an introduction of some of our uh, credentials uh, from the this academic writing course which is going on in the in the government of india swam plate form for you people so i humbly request you all to join us and uh, i think this cycle is going to end a few weeks are remaining for the january cycle but yes in the june july cycle i uh, which will be open for enrollment in may i humbly invite you all and uh, many institution are going for this thing it is the seventh yes, yes, cycle yes, they yes, promise yes, to trigger yes, an excellent yes, academic writer yes, yes, around 52000 learners across 200 countries we are having uh, dr mona chemelty with us in that particular team we conduct the live webinar yesterday itself we conducted a live webinar for the academic writing learners and uh, this is our team we have got the world ranking we have been world ranking national ranking Uh, appreciated by the government of india and uh, this my channel which is the all the links i have already shared the book we have come up with the, the 14th august you know independence day if had a wonderful response we have got the link we have provided if you are interested you can go, go for uh, the copy of academic writing a huge response the other course another course industrial pharmacy it is the only first and only course on pharmacy online course industrial pharmacy first which we have prepared with the industrial aspect we have created a good uh, and the interactive you know uh, learner with us that is called we have named her jenny so interesting uh, course on with the demo of the instruments and equipments and the industrial aspects with the various these are some of the playlist of youtube on various aspects of operatical resources we have covered four pharmacy courses also apart from our mooc no dfd system cosmetics pharmaceutics one and pharmaceutical production technologies in swayam prabha government of india platform which are freely available this is my yeah podcast with dot do aw podcast similarly the same link has been shared and we i have the presence in the pharmastate.academy is in a private tech platform on the pharmacy and the various aspects of various free as well as the paid courses with the certification available you are most welcome to enjoy these courses with us and the lastly i will say the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do and last again i would like to emphasize vrattam yatnen sarakshet vitme te chayati cha akshino vitta akshino vrattas tu hato hata remember which thing i have started preserve your character academic character with academic integrity okay and thanks a lot to the entire organizing committee ugc cc and ministry of education for giving us that platform which uh, by which we could uh, share our academic writing mooc online course on the swayam government of india platform so questions please thank you thanks a lot uh, sir there is one question uh, for, uh, how to find a quality time in our uh, professional life for the research because uh, uh, in today's scenario hmm. uh, in the professional uh, life i mean in our work we are facing a uh, uh, lot of uh, busy schedules so how to find a quality time for the research yeah you know obviously our the faculty members are busy in various works apart from teaching quality 
time for research rather than i would like to focus that time for quality research and enjoying that time of research that is the utmost important because if you are enjoying a moment na a particular moment of time you are miss actually missing it we are actually missing it. so in your time management just spare at least some few hours either per day or at least in a week for research and it must be reserved if you are really aspiring to be a researcher and even if nobody is there in i don't bother that uh, some research scholar is there or available or not attendant are available or not do the research your own own way think with a pen and paper come it, research is not just about the wet lab go for researching the data go for the literature and enjoy the thing and plan the thing and note down whatever you have done on that particular hour or one hour or two hour even some thoughts might have come note them down so that you can go ahead of that particular point on next day otherwise what is happening nowadays we are just uh skipping what we have learned together uh, yesterday and again going back on that but we are wasting our time so if you really want to enjoy go with the diary pen spare the time for the research plan your short term goals plan your medium term goals plan your long term goals with your research point of view that may be that baba agle 2 saal mein ek project leke aane ka अगले पांच साल में मेरे दो प्रोजेक्ट पूरे हो जाने चाहिए अगले पांच साल में मुझे एक पेटेंट तो करके रखना है कुछ ना कुछ काम तो ऐसा करना है पेटेंटेबिलिटी दैट काइंड ऑफ टेंजिबल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स मस्ट बी बिफोर यू दैट्स व्हाई द गवर्नमेंट इज पुशिंग ऑन यू विद नैक्स एनआरएफ रैंकिंग डू योर फाइव फाइव ईयर्स प्लानिंग बिकॉज अंटिल यू गिव सम टारगेट टू यू यू वॉन्ट बी एस्पायरिंग फॉर दैट यू वॉन्ट बी रनिंग फॉर दैट यू वॉन्ट बी you know dedicated to that and that is the you know holistic view of research thank you thank you sir participants uh, if you have any questions please unmute and speak yeah please i would be happy to uh, answer don't worry a uh, good morning sir good morning uh sir my one question is how we can bring in this academic writing in the curriculum because now in engineering uh, if we see aict has uh, reduced the total number of credits because of which we, it is not possible for us to include this academic writing as a separate subject elective or open elective or professional elective what is your suggestion or uh, do you have any experience of uh, bringing this in the curriculum sir for the benefit of the students researchers teachers yes we have done it in the in the pharmacy itself we have included it as a, wherever you get a chance to include any elective uh, paper and if you can add the elective paper add this paper into elective even the graduation we have included in the pharmacy graduation as a pharmacy practice uh, as an academic writing some dissertation point of view if some project can be done it, it can replace the academic writing point of view so that that kind the courses like academic writing can be introduced you won't be you will you will be wondering that from east west north south india many universities had adopted our course and included in their pg wherever there is this uh, option that yes it can the credits can be earned through the online courses or through or, or through the dissertation or through some kind of work then yes these credits are given for that it is not don't think that you need this course in the pre phd itself you can introduce in the uh, ug final year you can introduce in the pg you can give them as an assignment forget about that if you are a teacher give them the assignment that i will be giving that you have that assignment you are free to take anything that my assignment is will be based on your uh, that uh, that mooc online course what that is the wonderful thing you can give them the assignment so it is on the way the teacher is a king of his or her class so whatever the way there is a way statutory way also many universities like uh, central university of jammu and uh, you know i come to many universities our university obviously and uh, uh, central university of punjab batinda 
uh, Banaras Hindu University. There are many universities which are giving the credit transfer through our course of academic writing. And that you can include just, uh, uh, you know, I can understand that sometimes the credits are lower. But if the, even the credits are lower, don't worry about that. You can give the uh, two credits out of that thing. Prime aim must be learning. Okay. So just add in such a way that the student really go for learning the quality thing. Otherwise, if your student won't learn, ultimately you will, it will be affected your quality of your work. Because when the student will work as a research scholar under you, under your supervision, he or she doesn't know about the academic writing, then you will have to give your time, devote your time. And if you don't give that particular time, your name will be destroyed because they will do some uh, unethical things and it will be trouble for you. So ultimately, it is in our fear that the, the student get the thing from the quality source. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Challenge, Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, my question is uh, when we read a journal paper, how to extract a uh, good writing from the journal paper once we read it? You mean to say that when we are reading a particular article, how you how actually you should read it? Is it so? Yeah. Hmm. So you must have an idea that. First, list that what do you want to check it out from that particular uh, article? Kya aap rahe what is my perception? What is my perception is that uh, if I'm saying that bhai, mujhe usme koi method dekhna hai, I want to search the method. I want to search the method in, uh, from that particular uh, paper. So kya karne ka hai? Ki, I will see the method only. I will compare the method only. If I want to see the particular process or particular uh, result of a particular experiment. It means we must have the point on which we are focusing. It is not possible to go in detail in each and every article. Ultimately, when you are doing the database search, you end with some key papers, 20, 30 papers, not more than that. And then you study them properly. Do first thing, underline the important aspect you get. See how they have connected the hypothesis with the research gap. See the last line of introduction, how, what the hypothesis they have established. See the methods, how they have adapted, how they have gone through. Then see the result and see what is possible in your scenario. The person sitting in Germany, sitting in US might have done it very wonderfully. And if I'm, my laboratories are not having that much resource, that what are the things, what are the key points, what are the papers which are giving you the alternative measures? By the methods, I will go for that. Okay. Because it is not possible to get each and every resource in every institution. So we will have to see the alternative methods that can be practiced in your institution. Yes, sir. And then see that how wonderfully the results have been discussed. What are the basis there? See carefully. Then check it out. Then use the important aspect which you can use because it is not possible that it is not mandatory that you will get each and every uh, thing for your own discussion. Some points may be useful to so just note them down or underline, or you can use it online. Okay. So this is all where uh, specifically the references may be of useful that yes, you can go for the references, cross references. Yes, these are the some important resource. I will go to, uh, I will go and refer that. Yes, you can also see the uh, result, how they have been presented. It may give you the link. Overall, we must try that whatever the things the quality things I can do in my laboratory setup, I should learn that. Okay? Sir, my question is, uh, when I read the journal paper, 
uh, i will uh, i will made a literature review good uh, in uh, writing how to write a good uh, writing sir yeah when you are writing na when you are literature is ready literature first you have to organize depending on the topics it means some on the basis of methods some on the basis of this thing on the basis of uh, parameter 1 parameter 2 parameter 3 now when you are starting the writing first make an outline that keep that how you will organize how will use these papers in my writing paper 1 2 3 are uh, required for uh, starting the thing paper 5 6 7 may be uh, for this medium part you will have to identify the thing and what are the context what are the things which are required for this particular thing then you can say take the idea and start writing at your own have you build your own vocabulary build your own idea build your own story just take the help of these papers writing tabhi acha hoga when you will have a goal kehte na stephen uh, coe says seven habits of highly effective people begin with the end in mind it means you visualize the success you visualize the end of your paper you have you visualize that how your paper is going to look like how it is going to deliver this particular concept what is the outline then you write on to that specifically review papers are very challenging in writing as i believe the research paper writing is quite easier as compared to the review paper because review paper uh, in review paper you are expected to be an expert i emphasize that research scholars must discuss with your collaborators mentors and the experts before writing any review paper otherwise it will be a suicide okay thank you thank you sir sudhir sir please come sir sudhir sir yes any query and uh, that's my email id is really available in the internet it's semaltiajayatharadgmail.com if you have any query you can come uh, uh, to me for any academic and professional help and um, our course we are coming back in the i think in one month with the academic writing i humbly request you to join the journey of learners of 55000 learners across 200 countries thank you thank you sir uh, since no more uh, questions coming up i Uh, conclude the session with a brief uh, summary dr ajay samalti has shared the resources for uh, uh, references which consist of books several guidelines by the statutory authorities such as ugc then several video lectures in initial part sir has discussed about the traits of academic writing in which he mentioned reader friendliness is the key then so discussed about the flow of action in the academic writing he emphasized on the need for critical reading then different needs of the different stakeholders must be kept in mind several beneficiaries of academic writing academicians institutions students are also very important what we need to know which sir has mentioned is academic english the concept of coercion and coherence plagiarism resources types of writing open educational resources sir has also stress is the need for peace of mind the researchers and also the time management one thing what i really appreciated when sir shared is for his 80 plus publications he has witnessed 500 plus rejections so rejections are be there so attitude of the researcher is very very important to succeed that is a great message for all of us and in the second part sir has discussed about the nuances of academic writing he discussed about the basic rules rationality planning on time targeting the journal wisely with the three parameters keeping in mind those three parameters are impact speed and the reach avoiding the language errors etc so as mentioned the slogan publish or perish has changed to patent or perish we need all of us think about this and work in this direction sir has mentioned about journal finder and also the journal suggester to find the right journal and 
asked us to focus on every component of the work that is Imrad. Finally, sir mentioned, preserving the character is very, very important for a researcher. Academic integrity must be given prime importance. And we as researchers, professionals, teachers should set the tangible objectives or the targets to achieve in a two years plan or five years plan. Great message by sir. I'm really inspired by your talk, sir. I am also one of the participants of the SWIM course on academic writing. I request all the participants to take up this very interesting, very informative, very useful online course in the next coming session. On behalf of the St. Joseph Engineering College, the organizing committee, and all the participants, those who are present here, I extend a heartfelt thank to you, sir, your generosity and your down to earth and uh, kindness to us in accepting our invitation and being a part of this and nearly from last uh, 115 minutes you are with us without any break. Thank you. Thank you very much for a very, very insightful session and uh, from the feedback that is coming out in the chat box, we can make out the feedback on your presentation. Very informative, brilliant presentation and all this feedback we are getting. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And we will be in touch in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, Dr. Joseph. Uh, the, the, thank you, Dr. D'Souza and uh, Father D'Souza, the Dr. Dr. Sudhir, Ramya, and the entire organizing committee. And dear participant, just learn. If you are here for five days, then I will be happy that you will learn five things. The people are coming here and giving their valuable time. And uh, this is my exam, is which is going to be conducted at uh, around 11.30. So, so we are here to deliver something. So you must don't do it for just a formality. Learn something, make a uh, note of the out of this, and uh, try to learn the thing uh, so that you can accelerate 